Going to welcome in the most valuable player of this tournament. All right, here's goalkeeper Aaron Tharpa. Congrats on the victory. Thank you so much. So this, I have to imagine, was was what you dreamt of in college exactly. water polo. Yeah. I know you transferred from USC. Yes. You need to play as much there. How did the dream align with reality? Oh, gosh, I think that it was wonderful to be able to. I loved my time at USC. It was a wonderful time, but being able to then come here and play with all of these girls and win this title was wonderful. I think that it's something that we have. I'm not sure. I don't think we've ever gone back to back before. So I think that, that was really, really exciting to be able to do. And um, we wanted it. And so it was just fun to come out, have fun and play together. And to be able to deliver an effort where exactly. you're not only part of a team that wins, but you play exceptionally well. 14 saves, you name the MVP. Yes. How does that make you feel? Very, very nice. It's <laughs> nice. I mean, I've been playing wonderful for 12 years now, and I think um, it was just nice to to end it like this. It was wonderful. This Hawaii team, they are so talented on offense. You've yeah. seen them throughout the year. You know how difficult they are to stop. When you're making some of these saves where it just seems like you're, you're pulling rabbits out of the hat, you're standing on your head, however you want to describe it, what's going through your mind when some of the best players in the country are right in your face with the ball? God, I just don't let them score, don't let them score, <laughs> don't let them score. Basically, I'd see we were having a bit of a tough time um, offensively, and so I just knew that I, I needed to keep them at, like, whatever it was, six goals, like four goals. I remember at one point I told myself, I was like, okay, Aaron, you can let them one goal a quarter, like one goal a quarter, that's it. Um, and I think that just having that mindset and knowing that if I perform on defense, it'll help our offense was something that I just needed to keep in my mind the whole time. When it sinks in that you've won, right? Yeah. The shot goes high, the goal, and the clock runs out, and you're able to jump in the pool. What's that moment of celebration like for you and your teammates? It was beautiful, I think. It was just we told ourselves that we wouldn't be done after today, and I think that that was the thing that stuck with me the most was just knowing that we this wasn't our last game. So it won't be your last game. You're off no. to the NCAA championship in a couple of weeks in Stockton. How do you pivot to that event and try and make a run there to compete amongst the very best in the country? Uh, I think just stay focused. I mean, we talked about Big West the whole year because that's our biggest thing that we have to do in order to get to NCAAs. But I think now just having to shift the focus that, okay, we've won Big West. We've gone back to back. We're on 12 straight wins. Like, that's amazing. But the next school is here. And I, me and the rest of the team, we want to show everybody that we are a top four team. You, you hit on this at the top, but just to kind of come back to it, and, and this might not be something that sinks in until later or on the ride home, but you mentioned you played for, what, 12 years. Yeah. You, you, you put all this work, and not that you weren't on good teams before, but does a moment like this kind of validate all the work? Does it does it kind of give give some extra purpose to everything you've been doing since you were a little kid? It does. I think that it's just it's nice to show that all the hard work pays off. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, uh, the MVP, Aaron Tharp, thanks for being here, and Thank we'll see you in Stockton so in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Okay. Aaron Tharp and UC Irvine, your champs. Tharp, the MVP, and that is going to do it for us here.